Heaven, things will be just fine. In heaven, things will be just fine. In heaven, things will be just fine. You've got your good things in bay. I've got mine. Hello, everyone. Hello. My name's Evelyn. It's very nice to meet you. I'm here as a guest to Miss Vivian Fairchild. Let's hear a round of applause for her. She is an Now I have to say, the last time Vivian hosted a Follies, her theme was the apocalypse, <laughs> the end of days. And ever since that Follies, I've been thinking about my own funeral a lot at least twice a week. And to be honest, I feel like it's a very healthy habit. You can picture yourself laying in a coffin, one eye open, to see who's there to say goodbye. And if you've been a real son of a bitch, there's your two ex-husbands smiling right at you. But if you've been a nice lady, maybe you have friends and family there to bid you farewell. I feel it's a good gauge for your moral compass. Now, if you die, they say there's something called the afterlife. I don't like that term. Afterlife. I think there's many lives to lead after this. In the next one, I'm going to be a lion where I eat everything in my sight. Maybe in one life I'll be a tiny little ant that has a giant army and I carry a stick three times my size. Or maybe, just maybe, I'll be a man. I do like being a woman, though. Don't you, ladies? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> yeah. But we'll see. But I hate that term, after life. I feel like it's life number two, number six, number 36. There's many lives to lead. And I do hope we all see each other in all the lives we'll share. But I don't think there might be a hell. If there is a hell, it's here, maybe, with that giant cheeseburger we have as a president. <laughs> but if there's a heaven, a beautiful place, I feel like we're all children there, about three years old, running around without any underwear on. Who are we kidding? I don't wear underwear now. <laughs> but you run around buck naked in the clouds, throwing little puffs at each other, giggling and laughing. And that might be a good place to call heaven. So if there is an afterlife and I'm not an ant or a lion or an antelope or a man, I hope to see you there. In heaven, Things will be just fine in heaven. Things will be just fine in heaven. Things will be just fine. You've got your good things, and I got mine. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, a quick question, a survey. If there's a place you know on this planet called hell, yell it out, what is it? London. London. <laughs> Someone has a bitter British lover. The Trump Tower. Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. My mother's house. Very specific. <laughs> now, if there's a... Houston, Texas. All right, <laughs> I, could, I could understand that. I call it Sharon, Pennsylvania. Is anyone here named Sharon? Exactly right. 
She wouldn't be here. She's a nasty bitch. I have a good friend, a cousin of mine from Sharon, Pennsylvania. And the only fine dining restaurant you can take a lovely girl like me out to is called Red Lobster. <laughs> I've been there 63 times. I never want those cheddar biscuits ever again. But Sharon is a place that has one street, a dark street called East State Street. And there's a burger joint, an ice cream shop, and a lot of nasty people residing in Sharon. I can't quite pin what it is, but I promise you, if you went there, you'd want to drive right on through. Now, another survey for you lovely, very handsome people. Hello there. Don't think I didn't notice you. <laughs> what is heaven on this earth? Anyone? Any place next to me? Well, that could be heaven or hell, depending on the night. <laughs> Tonight is going to be a nice mix of in between you and me. I'd say heaven on earth is laying in a big king bed with three Brazilian women and one Swedish man. And they're all feeding me ice cream, all different flavors and they have me blindfolded, and I have to guess who's feeding me which flavor. <laughs> All variations of a caramel. And then we make more ice cream. <laughs> Maybe a milkshake or two with a big swig of whiskey as a chaser. Oh, Jesus. And I also think, to be completely honest with you, that heaven on earth is with Miss Vivian Fairchild. Give it up for Evelyn, everybody. <laughs> I'm so happy you're all here. All right, so um, I had so much fun hosting the last Follies. I wasn't sure they let a singer do it for once and it could have bombed, but it didn't. Well, it kind of did because it was about the apocalypse. Um, and I was thinking about it and I thought that topic might have left you feeling a bit glum. So, I. Uh, Today, we're going to follow up with, drum roll please, the afterlife. <laughs> because, you know, maybe it's, maybe it's cool. I don't know, we don't know yet. I'm, so I've invited a whole uh, cast of friends to help me get to the bottom what the afterlife is. Oh, oh my, it's Maximilian, everybody! I'm so, see, this is perfect because you're going to tell us, right, that the afterlife is all about, you know, bubbles and kittens and cocaine and we all live happily ever after, right? Well, actually, no, Vivian. I'm, you look beautiful, by the way. Doesn't she look gorgeous? Woo! 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 No, I, I'm actually here to tell you there's so many more interesting ways to die than just the boring old apocalypse. Oh. All right. Well, I guess we should get this uh, folly started with a bang. Yeah, I brought my favorite uh, book from my childhood, The Gashley Crom Tinies. I don't like children, but I like children's stories, and it's about time for a bedtime story, don't you think? Yes. Don't you think? <laughs> but if we're going to do this with it, I'm going to need some, uh, if we're going to sing about the afterlife, I need some backup dancers and uh, a skeleton. Have any backup, backup singer dancers and, and a skeleton? Perfect. <laughs> Should we do this? Yeah, you know what? Take it away, Maximilian. I'm going to get off the stage now. Are you ready for a little bedtime story? Yeah. Oh, so am I. Hello, beautiful. Three, six, nine. The goose drank wine. The monkey chewed tobacco on the streetcar line. Line broke. Monkey got choked. And they all went to heaven on a little roll Clap, clap. Clap, clap. Clap, clap. Clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap your hand, clap it on your partner's hand. Right hand! Clap, hat, clap your hand, clap your partner's left down when your partner's right palm. Clap, hat, clap your hands, clap your partner's right palm with your partner's palm again. Clap, hat, clap your hands, slap your thigh, and sing a little song called My Mama Told Me. Amy, who 
fell down the stairs. B is for Basil assaulted by bears. C is for Clara who wasted away. D is for Desmond thrown out of a sleigh. E is for Ernie who choked on a peach. F is for Fanny sucked dry by a leech. G is for George smothered under a rug. H is for Harry done in by a thug. I is for Ida who drowned in a lake. J is for James who took life by mistake. K is for Kelly who was struck by an axe. Is for Leo who swallowed some tax. M is for Molly who did too much coke, and they all went to heaven in a little rowing boat. Clap, 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 clap. Okay. N is for Neville who died of ennui. I thank the Lord, nothing's happened to me. O is for Olive who threw with an O. P is for Prue traveled fast to the roll. Q is for Quentin who sank in a mine. they can't hold a conversation and they can't hold their liquor. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to agree with you there. How beautiful are these ladies? Give it up for uh, we've got Evelyn and Kit. Woo-hoo! Maximilian. Woo-hoo! Our skeleton slipped off into the night. We'll have to hear from him like later. Something to eat. He was, looked like he was starving. Wow. Oh. I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking dying sounds fun. Doesn't it kind of sound... I, I think it sounds really fun, so, but I think, I don't know, there's got to be something more afterwards. Like, what happens to our, what happens to our souls after we go? Is it, oh, oh my God, it's, it's Lisa McQuaid, the queen herself. I'll back down to Lisa. Miss Vivian. Yes. Listen, uh, before you take us to the dark side with all of your doom and gloom follies topics. I have something that I want to share with you and everyone here. Um, and that is the fact that angels do in fact exist. They do? Yeah. How, how do you know? Well, I met one a few years back. Um, she comes and goes as she pleases, but she's always here when I need her. Give it up for Lisa, everybody. Showing up the 
this morning came under me Silver wings, silhouette against a child's sunrise And my angel, she said unto me Today is the day that you're gonna rise Take my hand, you're gonna be 